Hey guys, welcome to today's Vehicle Visionary. Today we're starting off the video a little bit differently because the entire video is going to be different compared to what we normally do here on the Vehicle Visionary YouTube channel. Today, thanks to my friends at Land Rover of Shreveport, I have the 2020 model of the Land Rover Range Rover Sport HSE. And this is one of my all-time favorite vehicles. And I'm going to do kind of a little cinematic video tour, voiceover, all that kind of stuff. And tell me what you think about that. Do you want to see more videos like this? If not, tell me. If you do, tell me. If you'd like to see a combination of what I normally do with a full review of a vehicle and maybe some of these videos as well, tell me down in the comments. I'm always interested to see what all of you want to see. And we will do something that I did not get to do in my last video with a Range Rover Sport autobiography very, very much the same vehicle. And if you want to watch that video, I will link it down in the description. And it's a full interior and exterior review. But I didn't get the chance to do a test drive with that one just because of some issues with getting my camera mounted in the interior. Today, we didn't do that. It wasn't a problem. I had a friend hold the camera and even got his reaction to the 518 horsepower acceleration of this Range Rover Sport. It was a lot of fun, and he was quite surprised. So take a look and tell me what you think. Sport HSE Dynamic is not just another high-performance SUV. Motivated by a supercharged 5-liter V8 engine, it puts out 518 horsepower and 460 foot-pounds of torque. Zero to 60 acceleration takes place in an impressive 5 seconds. Power is put to the ground through an 8-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive. With such impressive horsepower numbers, gas mileage comes in at an impressive 17 miles per gallon in the city and 22 out on the highway. Additionally, there are multiple driving modes to select from. or the driver can select Auto Select. Adaptive suspension and auto leveling ensures a consistent ride no matter what type of terrain the Range Rover Sport is traversing. The exterior design and horsepower numbers are impressive, but so is the interior. With seating for five, the interior is plush and filled with modern technology. There is a panoramic power moonroof and multiple driving aids, including the Driver Pro Package and Vision Assist Package. The front seat features three LCD monitors, including the 10-inch primary LCD screen. With all the talk about features and available horsepower, why don't we get the Range Rover Sport out on the road and see how it drives? Okay, guys, we're going to see what someone's reaction is to this thing initially. Is that for the start of the test drive, guys? This is my buddy Jeremy that's uh, that's holding the camera. All right, guys. Now that we've had a little fun with launching and seeing what my buddy Jeremy's reaction was, let's just get out and cruise around on the road a little bit here. And the good news about doing it this way with Jeremy holding the camera is that we don't have to worry about not only uh, having any issues with a shaky tripod, but hopefully stupid Shreveport drivers. <laughs> Excuse my bluntness there. But anyway, I guess that's what happens when you're not driving a bright, brightly colored red or whatever color vehicle. Anyway, <laughs> before I was distracted there, um, you know, this is such a fun vehicle to drive. This isn't my first video I've done with the Range Rover Sport, but I did do the, let's see, it was the autobiography that I did earlier this year. But I had a little more fun with this one and know a little bit more about it, have a little bit more 
knowledge of what I can and can't do with these, which is really cool. Of course, if you've seen my other videos, you know that that it's uh, it's not a problem to get on it and go. So we're going to do kind of our typical little test drive here. And of course, as I mentioned earlier in the video, there are multiple driving modes. I am in dynamic as if you watch me regularly, you know that's going to be the case. I'm not driving in eco mode, not going to happen. But even in dynamic mode, it's just as smooth as it can be. I mean, we're on a really pretty tough road to drive on here and you know, coming up on a little bit of a corner here, not not too sharp of a corner, but I want to get around this truck anyway, so I have a good reason to step on it. And just get a little bit of acceleration going, but let's just go through this corner here. Not a real sharp corner, but nice. Let's see if I can gather up the steering here and make sure I'm used to it. There we go, nice and smooth. Of course, we're heading down to my favorite place to do test drives here, but I just love the fact that the Range Rover Sport, although it hasn't really received a lot of exterior changes over the last several years, the way the interior has been changed and upgraded and just the nice technology that you have here is phenomenal. It's really kept it modern, to say the very least. And it does make me wonder what's going to come in the future because eventually there's going to be an upgrade. You know, there will be probably a complete refresh and redesign. Not sure when that's going to happen. I might try and look on the internet since I don't have that information off the top of my head. But I'll tell you what, between the GLC Mercedes-Benz GLC 63 and this Range Rover Sport putting out the 518 awesome horsepower, it'd be kind of a tough choice if I was able to just pick between the two. I'm not sure which one I would take, but uh, I would sure be happy to take this one. I thought GLC's really got a special place in my heart, any AMG does. But I have to say, I really, really like the Range Rover Sport as well. So yeah, we're on some smoother pavement now and we're just kind of cruising around and enjoying ourselves here. I love the way the shifter paddles work. The shifts are quick. They're responsive. You don't have any kind of a lag or delay if you're pulling on the on the shifter paddles, upshifting or downshifting. Every mode seems to be good, but of course I haven't really driven a lot in the other modes. I haven't driven an eco mode. Drove a little bit in comfort mode earlier, but you don't need to see that on video. You just need to kind of see what we're doing here, just having a good old time. But I mean, just listening to that exhaust note, <laughs> you cannot beat that. It is so awesome. Oh my goodness. The only thing it's missing, downshift crackles. All right, guys, now we've got a clear path. How about another pull? I'm having to slow down a little bit for my favorite corner up here, but I sure didn't want to go as fast as we were just going through here, but let's just go through the corner, see what we get, see if it gives much body roll. A little bit of body roll, but I'm going to accelerate through the corner. That, the handling is very impressive. I mean, to go from where I was, I'm not going to say the speed I was going right there, but to do what I just did, accelerating out of the corner, I mean, that's... Could you could you really feel it roll much much body roll, Jeremy? No, I felt very stable. That's that's impressive, and of course I had the suspension set as best as possible for what we just did. But I mean that just tells you so much about what these Land or Range Rover, well Land Rover Range Rover Sports can do. But it's a great daily driver. That's what's cool about it. You can have a really good time just cruising around. You can get the groceries. You can do whatever you need to, and it's I mean it's very versatile but it's also very fast. I just, I just cannot say enough about how much fun I have driving these. And so we're gonna get up here and do one more little pull and then we'll end our test drive. But I can tell you guys, the handling is superb. The ride is super comfortable, even in dynamic mode. If you want a super comfortable ride in this Range Rover Sport, of course, you know, go with comfort, you'll be good. But I'm gonna tell you what, even in dynamic mode, this is awesome. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, 
that'll definitely put a smile on your face. There's that living proof. <laughs> hey, who needs six flags? Exactly. <laughs> this is your season pass. <laughs> Daily pass. <laughs> so I'm curious to know, did you like this form of video? You know, I've done one other video like this on really my ultimate favorite vehicle, what I would love to see eventually become the house car of vehicle visionary at the Mercedes-Benz GLC 63. I'll link that down in the description as well so you can see it and maybe compare the two. I appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time to watch, and of course I appreciate my friends at Land Rover of Shreveport for loaning me this awesome Land Rover Range Rover Sport for the day. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Who knows? Instead of that GLC 63, maybe I'll end up with this as the daily driver in the house car for Vehicle Visionary. We'll just have to wait and see. It's always fun to make videos with these vehicles, and I appreciate all of you for making it possible for me to make my living at doing this. Have a great, great day, guys. I'll see you in my next video.